In tonight's Whatever Happened To segment, the women's political movement. The most recent iteration began shortly after President Trump's inauguration. Now, its effects are showing up on ballots everywhere this midterm season. Tonight, correspondent Anita Vogel looks at where the movement has been and maybe where it's going. They came from all walks of life to protest Donald Trump's election. Women disappointed the would-be first female president fell short at the polls, and so a movement was born. We are absolutely thrilled to see so many women running for office in 2018. There's no way to put the genie back in the bottle. Uh, and once that women's march happened, and women seemed to understand that they didn't just need to march, they needed to vote and then they needed to run for office. From the possible first Native American woman to be elected to Congress to a young community organizer in New York no one had ever heard of. Female candidates are now lining up. For the upcoming midterms, a total of 476 women have filed to run for the House of Representatives. More than 300 are still running. On the Senate side, 54 have filed, with 36 still in the hunt. 62 women have entered governor's races, and more than 2,000 are targeting seats in state legislatures. We need women in every single position. So more women are heading to the classroom to learn how to run for office and how to win. What we're teaching them is how to really speak with power, how to talk about why you're the best person for the job, how to resonate with voters, how to raise that money. I've seen what women can do. Erin Velarde heads up Vote Run Lead, which attracts mostly progressive candidates. I'm really young. I'm 22 years old, so I've got a lot of time to figure out how exactly I want to say what I want to say. How can I best put my message out there? Republican women have their own groups. In California, it's the Marion Bergeson series. I don't think anyone should ever assume that it's easy to uh, run for office, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. Rita Topalian took the class and won her latest primary. I've done this four times. I, I, I could almost be a joke. People could say, oh, she's running again. But you know what? Each time I run, I learn. But the key is turning out votes. And while there are a record number of women running for office this year, mostly Democrats, as of 2016, only about 25% of elected positions in the U.S. were held by women. Brett? Anita, thank you.